What is up, guys? Welcome back to another awesome episode of Railroads Online. My name is Evil One, and joined by James. Say hi, James. Hello. And we got Ovon. Hello. And up there on the Ironberg signpost is the one and only Dolan. Hello. Say hi, Dolan. Awesome. So this is kind of an awesome uh, episode, really, because two of our, our crew members here, Ovon and Dolan, spent a lot of time building us something very special on in this, in this world. Let's go take a look at it. And please, Ovon and Dolan, feel free to talk about it. Yeah, sure. So we got set up for a proper roundhouse now, and again, shout out to the devs for listening to us. Uh, and by us, I mean the community at large. You could, if uh, everybody at home hadn't been constantly asking for a proper roundhouse, I don't think we would have gotten one anytime soon. But uh, it's basically hooked together uh, by shoving modules into each other, and uh, we were able to line things up thanks to the two of us working together. You can't really get this seamless of a finish uh, without two people working together. Uh, we tried to line things up in the sense of the turntable going from one side to the other when and where we could, um, but just due to the nature that that doesn't always 100% work, but it does work more often than it fails. And uh, yeah, it's it's really nice. The doors open, should be, they should open automatically when an engine approaches them. Sometimes it bugs out, but I'm sure that'll get sorted out more uh, the longer that it's been in the game. And then, uh, yeah, it was just a lot of fun to work on, real easy to put together, and it sits exactly where the old brown house was sitting. The back of the shed is exactly where the back of the old shed was, so that should give yeah, people a good that. understanding of where it is physically in the yard for anybody who's been watching. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, I'm super excited for this. This, this is a great addition. It looks fantastic. Thank you both so much. As I said in Discord, uh, and it, please, if you haven't joined our Discord, go check it out. There's a lot that is actually going on there as far as a lot of screenshot sharing, a lot of discussions about all sorts of topics. So, but anyway, as I said in Discord, I don't deserve you guys, man. You, you guys <laughs> just knock it out of the park every time. Thank you so much. I do really do appreciate it. So, and... Dolan, uh, when I first logged in here today, I saw that Beast was up on the rack over at the maintenance facility. Let's go over there and take a look at it. So, Dolan, please uh, tell us why Beast is on the rack here in the maintenance shed. Well, we brought in Beast because there was a big task that I had to tackle. And Beast was the last engine to receive these updates. We have knuckle couplers on every single piece of rolling stock now. It was simple as just taking the knuckle, putting it into the pin socket, and putting the pin in. And nice. Beast was the final one to go through, and we did end up getting Beast refueled. It took forever, but we got it done. Yep, refueled. But why is it actually in on the rack? I mean, that... You can do all these uh, knuckle couplers pretty easily. Is it because it's just getting a, uh, an inspection? We've been running it a lot here lately, or yeah, we've been running Beast what? a lot since we had Beast back in service. I just wanted to make sure everything was okay before we make our next trip. Okay, so it's not actually broken down or anything like that. Yeah. It's just here. Okay, perfect. Awesome. So our next plan is we really need to start hauling some pipes up to Alaska and to the oil field and we don't have the rolling stock to do it and looking at my funds here I only have uh, uh, two thousand four hundred and ninety four dollars that's not a lot so what I ask these guys to do is invest a little bit of their own money back into our railroad and buy some of these cars for us so we can actually get some goods delivered up to Alaska and I promise guys I'll pay you back uh, I just need a, a quick loan from you guys if you don't mind we'll start buying yeah. that that rolling stock we also got uh, a shove here refueled because it was completely out of coal and almost cold 
So, looks like Ovon is already whipping him out. There we go. I've bought as much as uh, my pockets can go deep. All right. Was that six of them? Yep. Yep. All right. Thank you. Yep. We'll get a bunch more here. Yep. Be careful where you stack them. Yeah. I, <laughs> I know it's my um, cursor went. So while they're doing that, let's talk about what we need to do to take up to Alaska. The dredge, they've contracted us to bring them uh, as many tools as we can get our hands on. The same for pipes, and of course they're running through coal like it's water. And if, the stamping mill, they need uh, some cordwood, but not a lot because we just brought them a full train load. And of course coal as well. So the smelter up there they contracted with us they just need coal they just that's all they need is coal that's all they want so that's what we're gonna do we also need to bring them a bunch of food and unfortunately we don't have much in the way of food to bring them so we need to run some trains probably starting at their wheat farm bring everything up to the wheat farm get the wheat and the straw to the cattle farm take the cattle to the Emmett Hill to be processed and then we'll bring the canned beef back here. The other thing we need to do <laughs> there's never a shortage of things to do here at the AD&D. We really need to finish the oil uh, refinery over there and start producing some some oil uh, to bolster our, our wallets. So we have the shove here going to be pushing these cars together and we need to run pipes uh, we, let's do we take the brakes off we need to bring pipes to alaska too and we, we got a bunch of pipes over there at the uh ironworks so why don't we fill this train up and, and take them up to the oil field and then we'll fill it up again and just park it on one of the outgoing sightings over here to head to Alaska.
rest of the world. Alright, keep on pushing it. Ted Meth, come back! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the same problem me and Jay were having the other day, where it's just like, for some reason, it won't let me hook into the leg of the Switch. That's what we had to, it'll let, I had to do. It'll let me, <laughs> yeah, it'll let me do everything except hook into the leg of the Switch. Like, and, and I think it's this, I think it's this right-hand turn Switch, too. I think that's my problem. I have that problem with three-way switches, too. Yeah. Whoever has a chance... Uh, no, I'm coming. Yeah. Come rescue me. All right, uh, switch, Go ahead and come Switch right. Yourself. It's going to be a switch right with a stand on the left. Gotcha. All right. All right. And would you like the train yard to be out here in the open flat field, or would you like the train yard to be uh, in front of the industry here on the inside? I was thinking like over here, it was nice and flat, something okay. like that. Sure um, thing. Just some place we can pull in and you know disconnect, and maybe a little bit get a uh, little switching engine here just to push the cars in to get them offloaded. Yeah, little little baby micro industry and let it just run itself. I get you. Yeah, yeah. See, I'm thinking that that box car should go with the water cars. Yeah, the box car should go with the water cars. That way, it goes up to the wheat farm. You getting one of the engines I'm set up, Dolan? Yep. Okay. I'll put uh, Ruby away on us. I think I think they're actually in. Uh, they've got push in the way right now. Hang on. I'm I'm getting ready to move it. Uh, I wasn't sure if they need um shove for anything else in in the yard. If they don't, then I was just gonna put it away. Uh. You want to grab that spare caboose that's in the carriage shed? Don't know if I could grab it. With the knuckle couplers, so I'm not working properly on it. I would like to, but... Let's make sure that turntable's aligned. Because I don't want to back out of the engine shed. You're clear if you need to put it away and uh, shove. Okay. Yeah, just go ahead and put away shove. There's no way that we could even get that, uh, that caboose. Even, well... Copper wire, thin, thin coated copper wire. Okay. And so I make my own copper wire. Oh. Well then. I got tired of waiting on you. Guys, I'll do it myself. <laughs> Understandable. Mm -hmm. He's the boss. Sister. Do you need about 150 meters per to the right? I think, I think so. I think that's what it's going to be. 
just as long, to, as long as it misses yeah. this by like walking distance so that way if somebody's oh, yeah. over here they don't feel like they're crushed all right that's two of them so i can okay. blow two of them at the same time right? once once you get the track out here i can hook onto the track so as, as long as you got you know some of it half I a can, tender i can handle it from there there we go and that was at 150. yep that's 150. thank you sir you're welcome thank you Right there is good. I'd recommend staying Okay, you're backing it up? Train. Yeah. Right. Protecting the shove.
break off it so you can not have much trouble with it. So while this while this um, stock car loads, do you want to go set our switches, James? You should be able uh, to access most of our, of our switches just by using the telegraph offices. Yeah, we're heading to the fields first. Am I correct? Yes, we're heading to the oil field first. I just want to make sure I set. I uh, make sure I set the tracks, the lineup. All right, three car, three car, car three car lengths. Ugh, getting tug tied. <laughs> Tongue tied. God darn it! I cannot speak. No, we're and I have not been drinking. <laughs> this time, yes. This time. <laughs> this time. <laughs> Slow down. Hey, 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 hey. That was funny. Right, people. Stop people right there. The comments of that video. I know! Like, <laughs> I was like, I wasn't drunk, guys! I'm just... <laughs> Alright, James, are we good? We or can do tell I we got to uh, pack up a bit. <laughs> it's like, I wasn't angry, it just happens when my ADHD kicks in. It's like I get more energized and they ain't antsy, so... <laughs> good or back up? Uh, you're, you're good. It's like, he should be. James he sounds like he's be. really frustrated or something like that. Or yeah, <laughs> I'm saying that we were frustrated or I don't know. It's like you can uh, tell by the voice of uh, from James. It's like um. And yeah. Uh, the we, whoa, geez, well, whoa, okay, I forgot how. So I have, a, this I have a question for you guys. So, with it comes to YouTube, do you pay attention to your analytics at all? No. Nope. Somewhat. Uh, I pay attention to them probably more than I ought to, which is why I'm so depressed about how stagnant my channel is. <laughs> oh. I mean, like, I look at, like, what's supposedly doing well on the channel, and then I attempt to replicate it, and then it doesn't do well a second time, which is really annoying. I just I've... got lucky with it replicating the second time. And so I kept doing so... it, and I've been milking it, because that's just, it, it works. <laughs> so there's two things I can think of. It, it, Ovon said something to me the other day, uh, it was a couple weeks ago now, I guess. He's like, we, we, we don't understand why you're so success, successful. We're proud of like, you. I don't, we don't get oh, it. Oh, yeah. No, I, yeah. Don't understand it. And I was like, I don't understand it at all. Why? Why am I more successful than you guys? Especially like Tidmouth that's been doing this for Tidmouth's a lot longer. Tidmouth's been doing long. this for about 10 yeah. years now, he told me. Uh, I've so, been doing YouTube since about 2013, so 11 years yeah. for me now. I didn't so, do much of subscribers YouTube. until maybe year five. A co-worker... Actually, hang on a second. Wow. Alright, so I just got the train loaded up with water. The pipe train with Dolan and James is heading up to the oil field. It looks like they got some tools on that boxcar uh, right before the caboose there, too. So, good luck, guys. Uh, I'm going to close up these hatches, and I'm going to head take this train up to the uh, wheat farm I can close this hatch there we go and okay. to deliver it I'll bring this train back and bring <clears throat> another load of water to the cattle farm and Come we'll on, see on. where we're at then yeah hauling water today so cows need it cows need it yep and I did get some seed pellets in this boxcar too so we can get on the rail Get out of here. Uh, I'll line you up for the time for, for the for the. Why can I not talk today? God darn, uh, rabbit razzards. Get them, get them lined for the main line. Get them lined up to go to the wheat farm. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I was busy lining me and uh, Dolan up to go to the um, oil fields. But well, the oil fields. Yeah, I get by pulling out before first. us. So we're go, if we're going to the oil fields first, we have to get the same way Evil's going. No, you can uh, go that no. way. Well, there's, there's two ways to get to the oil fields. There's, there's the, two ways. There's the, the new way. 
But that's the long yeah. way around. No, it's not. No, the, the, no, the, the yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, well, well, I'm making way. It's the steep way, but it's the short way. Trust me. Okay. Just trust me. Just trust after, me. After the turn for the. Just trust me. <laughs> a, after the turn for the uh, 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 sawmill, you'll see a turn yeah. off to the to the right. Take that turn. Oh, that was. Oh, I'm and I'm, I'm about to push you if you don't hurry up. Well, I got to move it. <laughs> Uh, Psyduck. Grab the wrong lever. Alright, you get to come back. Let's unload the water first. <laughs> we'll get this train offloaded and we'll head back to Ironburg. Fill up again. Take it to the cow farm. Uh, I guess we'll get the box. Unload the tools first and then... But yeah, I don't do much of like the U of YouTube, but like when I'm on Twitch, it's like. like... Thank you. Oh, and another part is like with my miniature painting. That is such a saturated market of viewers because it's such a uh, niche slow subject, down? and the people who you have may been, doing come it have to been a doing stop. it for years now. So like trying to break into that is has been exceptionally difficult simply due to the fact that there's so right. many people That's already good. doing it. Yeah. See, I kind of Make sure you guys remember to join my company as well, if you haven't done so. See, my biggest thing about the YouTube analytics is I stopped paying attention to those because after the, the whole hacking incident with my channel, I kind of just... Every time I looked at it, it just kind of got me real down. But I was seeing my view counts drop. Dead, like not steadily, but like rapidly. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. And I just yeah. I gain about three subscribers for every one I lose. So I like it's not great, but like I'm okay, I guess. In the last two months, I've gained about two hundred subscribers just by doing the nice. YouTube shorts, and then my new count went from being down to less than ten thousand views a month. So now I'm back up to thirty to thirty-five thousand views a month. See, I did a I did a big All experiment right. with YouTube Shorts on, on, on my uh, miniature back. painting channel, but I also used my gaming channel to like cross-reference so that you know, like, can a smaller channel grow? Can an existing channel grow? What did their analytics look like? Are they similar based on like so many shorts per week and blah blah blah? And I like did a full-on breakdown. And uh War car length. <laughs> it was it was interesting. It was Off like car length. Right. a right there. existing channel that has been around for a long time seemed whoa, to whoa, show whoa. no benefits to using YouTube shorts. Whereas newer, younger channels were seeing all the benefits of YouTube shorts. Hmm. Which is weird because my older, longer existing channel has more people following. Uh I don't know. It sounds like every time I talk to like anyone who is like quasi big in YouTube, if if they didn't have success like what Evils had, where they've just kind of exploded and done very well, um, they're on like their twelfth or fourteenth channel, and like that also doesn't make me feel good either. Like I don't want to like keep deleting channels and starting over again, hoping I'm in the right place at the right, right time stop. randomly. Hold on. Right. I'm on. We must stop. All I hear is keyboards clicking and oh. mouses clicking, and like I, I hear panic going uh, on. <laughs> I've I managed to stop the um, loading for the one uh, one car. I'll since yes. we're at the first car now, I'll just pull forward this time. <laughs> no worries. Freaking DUI oh. bugs. Gotta stop. Gotta love it. And just if you just keep on going all the way down, it should just take you right to the refinery. Go forward just a little bit.
I wasn't gonna run your track through the middle of the industry. Right. Might wanna slow down. Actually, probably just stop right there. You can ditch your boxcar and caboose on this. Yeah. Gonna what? No, okay. There you go. All hit. Yep. Oh, <laughs> you're not in it. That's one thing I, do I I find a little bit annoying with the uh, refinery. It's just like it's not all on the same platform. It's like... Well, they they openly admitted that's intentional to force you to do switching. Yes, I know. I just see evil one barreling it down the main. Line. One Heck these, yeah! <laughs> one of these days, I'm gonna get out my little wooden whistle and and toot right. back at you from my <laughs> microphone. <laughs> I've got my whistle. Oh, my that'd wooden, be awesome! Uh, wooden whistle right. from Day Out with Thomas somewhere. I have like a dozen of them somewhere in, in I, my box. I have box. a specific Thomas branded one. There yeah, was same. a there was a retired railroad guy who used to come to all the train events locally back when I was a kid. I'm sure he's passed away now. But he specialized in hand-making wooden whistles. In oh, okay, any, that is awesome. In any number of chime you wanted, in any pitch you wanted. Breaks clear, you're lined out of the yard. Everything's awesome. That should be good there. Aw, oh, Jeremiah6932 just left the server. Smack. I will make a meme pop. out of that. <laughs> oh, we're all here. Yeah. yeah. I was done a while ago. <laughs> there. Yep. Oops. I stopped. Oh, yeah. Overshot. Oh, being pushed. Yeah. Let me back up a little bit here. Not a half a car. You're good. A legend. Okay. Go ahead and pull up. We should have eight cars total. Yeah. It's eight right now. I wasn't sure because I seen I seen things going down once you put the water in, so I wasn't sure they would be made. We got no cows in this one. Hello cow. Stop anytime. Hello cow. The moon says hello. Oh my lord, the mouth of the cow is animated. Yeah. So is the mouth on the rooster. That is so weird. Oh yeah, I forgot about the rooster. Alright, you clear out. Alright, so... We have 16 grain left, it's counting down, I'm sure. 22 water? Yep, 22 water. And 10, 10 straw. straw bales. Let's go over here and take a look at our cattle output. See over here on this sheet we have ten, and on this, this one we have nothing. All right, well we're on our way. Let's uh, fly over to the oil refinery really, really quick and take a look at what Ovon built for us. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Hit that thumbs up button too if you enjoyed this content. 
leave a comment down below. I do respond, or I do read and respond to every single comment. Uh, that's my goal anyway for now. Do uh, you guys have anything you'd like to, to say before we get out of here, other than the fact that Dolan is on fire up there? <laughs> I'm on fire. <laughs> I'm just glad OSHA isn't around. Yeah, me too. All right, with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Bye-bye.